Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So we've got a really cool tutorial coming up and well I mean now but yeah so we've got a couple of bug a little bug to fix fix which I'll show you in a minute and then we're gonna look at something cool um after. So the first bug is if we play our game and try to go through our door to the another planet, you'll see that nothing happens. And it put puzzled me for a while because our script says if we look at it level loading switching it says if it's called YouTube space station which it is um, right there YouTube universe that one sorry um, to there it's called it it's like so why is it not working but then it turns out on the parent it actually hits it and that's not got a collider on it so it's saying it hits it but it's not colliding with it the actual name of it is door arrow which isn't colliding which is I mean is colliding but not named it so all you have to do simply is copy the name and paste it on that simple so I'm just gonna quickly do a run through a quick speed run through of doing that on every level and I'll be back in a minute just gonna quickly jump back in while we're here I'm just gonna simply move um, what is it YouTube space station to landscapes just because it should be there. So I'm going to carry on. So we're all done. Now let's test it and see if it works. So we hit it, it should transport our level. And boom. Tick, 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 tick. And on. Perfect. However, we hit the thing straight away, then it jumped us. So we've slight glitch there, we need to move our character away. But that's another tutorial. So next thing we're going to do is. Um, Skybox. We need a skybox. It looks quite bland at the moment. Stick a skybox and look better. So instead of searching for one, I found this great tool by Alex Peterson or Peterson. I apologize if you're watching this. You are a genius for what you've created. But basically, he's created a program which creates space skyboxes. And you can edit it. He's created some default ones. So let's just take a quick look at that. So the download button for it is there, I've downloaded it, checked it, it's all safe, all good, it works, that'll be in the description. So here's the program, and I've got a default one loaded up, so as you can see, you can click around it and have a look around, it's really, really high quality details what he's done. And you can click the parts at the side, so let's see, red billboard star, so I'm guessing that's these over here, and um, the colour of it is pinkish, just to show you that you can change it in real time, will make it light blue, and click OK. So as you can see, the stars have bumped up a little bit more. You can change loads of large green stars. So let's change one of these. It's not editing it unless we save it either. So far colour of them. Let's try yellow. Oh dear, there you go. You can see it now. So as you can see, it updates in real time. And it's really good. So you've got four to choose from. The one I've decided to choose for ours is Purple Nebula Complex, which was the default one what we saw, this one. I thought this looked really, really nice. It exports into six textures just like Unity needs, with a slight error. But another one, um, overlapping point stars. I don't really like this one. It's good, but not the best. As you can see, it's a bit bland, but it's like it's got a lot of stars, but then it just goes nothing. So it's good if you like want a like a night sky or something. But and then green nebula stars is a good one I want to use on another. Um, universe, so multiple universes. It's really nice. You can't zoom in or anything, you just click with your mouse and just move around. So, once you've chosen what you want, um, we'll just change the colour of it just to say, yeah, this is what we chose. What I've read, red. There you go, bright red, evil stars. We'll go file and export skybox. You can save it if you like, but um, I don't want to. So, I'm just going to click export skybox. Find where you want to save it, so I'm just going to save it in my admin just to show you and then what you want to do is give it a file name whatever this file name will have they will all have it but then they will all have a dash and then where they should go so front left right back up down stuff like that so we'll call this one green nebula stars and then it will put dash and put where it is after with a number um, you can choose whether you want it png or jpeg i recommend png it's slightly higher quality and image size, I've gone for a thousand button twenty four just to get the crisp um crispness of it, make it look nice, but then again not too detailed although it lags. So that's what I've gone with. You can have any of these if you like. If you think you can handle that big, go for it. So all we do is click save 
and then once it's done stick it in unity and then you will get these here so front back left right all here with one glitch that I'll show you in a minute so we're gonna right click in space create and we're gonna create a new material and we'll call it purple nebulous complex and we'll go shader and we'll be creating one of our own one of these soon a shader so it should be really cool and I'll explain it later when we get there render effects and skybox so let's assign them so front front back back left so I'm back, so we'll edit and choose render settings, we'll assign our skybox and I'll show you the glitch. So look, as you can see, really nice kind of box here around here. That's because the program what this guy rendered it for, the left and right are switched, whereas in Unity they're different. So it's really, really simple to fix, you just drag the left one onto the right one, and then the right one onto the left one. And as you can see, seamless you can't tell where it ends. There's a small glitch there but I don't know what that is. You can, it's like one of these textures, I think it's this one. Always does that no matter what you put it on. But as you can see it's pretty seamless wherever you look around. Like you can't even see where it goes if I go like that. So it's really really good. So when we play it, yeah you can get lost because this skybox will go forever but look how nice it looks now. Now that you've got the proper texture on. You'll actually think you're in real space with this. So it's really, really cool. So that's what we're going to do. Quick, short tutorial just for space. Thank you for watching. I really hope you liked it. And see you next time.